All right. So <clears throat> I would like to do a MATLAB uh, model reference adaptive control example. Here is the sample code clearing all the variables screen. Um, total simulation time is 20 seconds. Here is the um, discretization uh, by using first order error methods discretization sampling. Um, you can use fancier uh, discretizations using Runge Kata, so on and so, so, and so forth. Um, this works for model reference adaptive control, this Euler's method pretty well. So first of all, <coughs> before you watch this, this video, you should watch this uh, control, model reference adaptive control video. Here is the summary. You have a system of subject uncertainty. Again, I am not going to repeat everything on this video. You should watch this first before this MetaP example. Basically here, um, W is unknown uh, parameters and beta is the um, basis function cap capturing the structure of the uncertainty. Um, A and B matrices are given here for this system. Um, we are doing state feedback, but we would like to regulate. We want, a, you know, output of the system. In this case, the first state, position state. The second is velocity, and the control input is force. We want the position state to track a command. Here is the uncertainty, basically one one. <coughs> initial states are zero. This is initial condition for y. Um, for control, no, for nominal control, I am using basically K1, K2 type of a structure. And how we choose K1, K2 has nothing to do with adaptive control design, but basically you can watch this part of this control, state and output feedback control of linear systems to choose K1 and K2. You choose K1 to make A minus B K1 Hurwitz, and you choose K2 to satisfy this condition for command following purposes. I am using a feedback, feed forward type of an architecture. You can also you know, use integral based of approach, which is presented here in this portion, integral approach state feedback part of this video. Um, again, I'm not going to go over the details. Um, certainly adaptive control is an advanced technique. So this basically uh, depends on a couple of videos on my channel. So you should watch them first and I am highlighting them here. So, I choose basically to choose K1, I use pole placement. I would like to place poles to minus one and minus two. Basically poles of A minus B K1. Why pole placement? Well, you can use pole placement, which is covered in this video, or you can also use uh, LQR, linear quadratic regulator, optimal control. I also have this on my channel. For simple, I am using this place command, pole, pole, pole eigenvalue placement technique. More details, if you want to learn the details about how to use this place command for pole placement, you can watch this video. Turning back to the adaptive control, then I am choosing K2 to satisfy this condition here. Sorry, I am jumping between these videos. I think you should know if you want to learn details, how you can find them. Um, <coughs> gamma is here adaptation gain uh, initially I would like to start with zero and I would like to start no uncertainty whatsoever so I want first uh, I would I want you to see the nominal control performance in the absence of uncertainty some initializations here is a simulation environment um, beta is the basis function comment for 10 seconds one or reference then the remaining 10 seconds minus one, you can apply another command. U is the control signal. Here is the adaptation. Right now, gamma is zero, so adaptation does nothing. Here is the reference model capturing the ideal behavior. So, you know, the idea behind adapt model reference adaptive control is to make the states of the uncertain system X to approach the reference system that captures the ideal closed-loop system behavior. So in this sense, this is supervised learning. So details are here. <clears throat> and here is the actual system, x that equals to x plus bu, w transpose beta, exactly what you see here. But some data recording, and I am also, you can pause the video if you, if you want to regenerate this code by yourself. This is for plotting states, comment, 
reference model states, disposition states, velocity states, and the force control input. All right, first I am running the code when no uncertainty W0, so I don't need adaptive control. So I will now show you the ideal performance. Basically, let me make it slightly larger. When there is no uncertainty, the system behaves just well. So there are a couple of uh, states here. C is the command R that we apply to the system. XM, the reference model behavior is blue dashed line and the actual system states position. The first state in meters is the black line. Same for the velocity state and this is the control input. Since there is no uncertainty, system behaves as desired. This is the first thing that you should check in your simulations. Now, I am not going to turn on the adaptation, but I am going to uh, apply the uncertainty. And once you do that, system <coughs> blows up. Without adaptive control, close-up system is unstable. So let's see how we are going to recover uh, with adaptive control. First, I am going to choose a slow learning rate, gamma equals to 0.01. I am running the code. <clears throat> and when I run the code, well, so we achieved closed-up system stability, but initially, basically, um, <clears throat> we deviate a lot from the reference model behavior, and eventually we got it. And um, interesting stuff going on within the first 10 seconds in the velocity state as well. It deviates a lot from the ideal reference. I am increasing adaptation gain to 0.1, now something better happened, especially we track, uh, you know, better um, first during the first 10 seconds, but during the last 20 seconds as well. And control signal dramatically reduced as well. This is the new control signal that I am pointing out. Let me close this. Um, let me give 0.5. Here is the response, basically, let me enlarge it a little bit. All right, so basically we recover the system performance, especially after 10 seconds. Let me keep increasing with the gamma. I am now using one. When it is one, it is getting better. Let me use five. It is getting better. Let me use maybe 15, <clears throat> it is getting much better. I also would like to try 30. I think I like this response. Let me create a new figure here, since things are on top of each other so that we can get a close look to the final answer. You can also try 50, but I am kind of satisfied as a controls person, adaptive controls person, so we, in four seconds, we learn the effect of the uncertainties and cancel their effect. And pretty much after four seconds, we close the follow reference model. Same for the second state, velocity state. Velocity state follows the reference model's velocity state. Control signal is behaving like this. And finally, you can try 50, it will get more close, but you know, honestly, 30 versus 50, since there is not much change, I don't want to have a high gain effect. I think 30, 20, 25 level, I think it is pretty good system response. Now, <clears throat> as you see, we kind of need to choose correct, correct gamma for adaptive control to work. So we need to start from a low number and increase. We, over the years, we also developed auto tuners, automatic tuning mechanisms, so-called set Theoretic Adaptive Control, um, set Theoretic Adaptive Control, you can uh, go, go to Google Scholar search for Yusulun Arabi, Arabi Ehsan is my former student right now at Ford Research Lab, so he is the main author, I put myself first here, but I mean I was just typing, he basically, I did the research with him, he is the first author. So in those papers, basically, we use potential functions, also called as barrier functions for adaptive control to retune, you know, to enforce performance bounds without us to uh, 
you know trial by trial by error picking the gamma but i this video is about standard model reference adaptive control uh, in the next videos i am going to talk about more advanced adaptive controllers uh, but um, for now i hope uh, within the textbook uh, level model reference adaptive control introductions matlab video is helpful uh, for your search all right take care